This video is closed captioned. Immigration to America has often been romanticized as the land of opportunity, where you can and should pull yourself up by your bootstraps and make your dreams a reality. And for many, that's what they found. Better working opportunities, better pay, and better quality of life. But for many American citizens, they don't see or experience the same prospects. The cost of living is steadily rising worldwide, and some pockets of the U.S. feel more pressure than others. For example, the cost of living in California's Bay Area is three times that of Arizona. Texas is another state that offers open spaces at a fraction of the price. Many established tech companies who call the Bay Area home have relocated to these cheap Cheaper states in the wake of the pandemic. And still, others are founding new businesses in these states. And looking outside of the U.S., there is an increasing demand for skilled jobs in Mexico, allowing those who can't work remotely to continue considering an international relocation. Jobs such as architects, software engineers, web developers, product managers, IT, and marketing managers are all in demand and likely to pay enough to allow a comfortable lifestyle in Mexico. This corporate shakeup is only one reason that citizens are considering big moves. In sky-high markets like New York, Miami, Los Angeles, and the Bay Area, you, or your combined household, need to make at least a quarter of a million dollars a year to afford a home. Average home prices are well over the million-dollar mark, meaning that blue and white-collared workers are forced to live paycheck to paycheck, even if they're earning six-figure salaries. High-density housing is becoming standard, meaning the dream of a white picket fence where the kids or pets can run free is becoming a thing of the past. Those looking for properties larger than a shoebox to call home have to get more resourceful with their relocation strategies. Remote work and a shift to an increasingly popular freelance marketplace have made moving to new cities, states, and even countries more accessible than ever. And where are they flocking to? Mexico. Mexico has always been popular with vacationers. Spring breakers crowd the beaches. Families and couples fill up all-inclusive resorts, and outdoor enthusiasts find an adventurer's paradise around every corner. It's also been popular with retirees looking to move on a fixed income. But the same things that make it a memorable vacation or affordable retirement location also make it excellent for full-time residents. Here are some of the top perks that have enticed more than 1.5 million Americans to move south of the border. The weather is sublime. When it comes to climate, there are three main options when considering Mexico. Although Mexico attracts snowbirds looking to escape winter, there are some areas that experience more seasonal, cooler weather. The highland mountain towns in central Mexico can offer this cooler weather if you aren't ready to jump straight into the tropical climate. And if you prefer to bask in the sun and warmth year-round, either coast offers plenty of options. Sure, there are crowded and expensive tourist destinations, but plenty of sleepy towns along the coast are much more affordable than in the U.S. And if you're feeling a bit like Goldilocks and want it to feel just right, the Central Highlands are temperate throughout the year. Healthcare is actually affordable. Healthcare costs are astronomical in the United States compared to 32 other countries. The price of healthcare was 256% higher than the prices in all comparison countries combined. Let that sink in. 2.5 times more expensive than 32 other countries combined. When it's regularly cheaper for people to pay out of pocket for health care in Mexico compared to insured or uninsured prices at home, it says a lot about the United States and its struggles with rising health care costs. Around 10% of Mexicans use doctor offices adjacent to a pharmacy. Some are free, and others cost between $1 to $3 to see a doctor instantly. Get a prescription for your medical condition and get your medication right next door at the pharmacy or get referred to a specialist if needed. I don't know you, but I sure don't know any doctor in the United States who would see you instantly without an appointment and treat you for a few bucks. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey worldwide by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. Mexico isn't perfect when it comes to taking care of its citizens, but it's been steadily improving, whereas the United States has not been as consistent. In a quality rating provided by The Lancet. Out of 100 points, Mexico rose from 49.2 to 62.6 between 1990 and 2015. The U.S. rose in those years as well, but only by 7.5 points. Another study released in 2019 cited that a single day spent in a U.S. hospital will cost a patient more than $1,500, but the same time spent in Mexico will cost about $150 to $250, depending on the hospital.
While prices have increased over time, the discrepancy is still massive, enticing U.S. citizens to travel for health care or relocate entirely. Is Mexico safe? It's a lot safer than you think, and safer than some parts of the U.S. Popular television series, movies, and occasional news coverage would have us all believe that Mexico is impoverished and crime-ridden. But, like most places in the world, the reality is much more nuanced. Some portions of cities are safer than others. Heavy tourist areas may be more prone to pickpocketing or mugging, and some small villages may not have had any violent crime in years. I have lived for almost 20 years all over Mexico and never had a problem with anyone. The numbers change from year to year, but when looking at overall crimes committed in the U.S. versus Mexico, you might be surprised by the results. For every 100,000 residents in America, about 4,000 are victims of crimes. On the other hand, Mexico only has about 1,500 victims for every 100,000 residents. That's not to say there isn't violence. Drug-related murders happen and certainly impact the murder rate, which does tend to be higher. The country is in a transition, and when foreign residents and tourists are asked how they feel about their safety, they generally feel safe and settled, just as I do in Cancun. Taco stands on every corner. During the U.S. presidential race in 2016, a co-founder of a Trump support group warned of the dominance of Mexican culture, warning that the U.S. would have taco trucks on every corner. The man was roasted on social media, and most, ourselves included, would love to live in a world where you can get tacos around every corner. It's another great reason to move to Mexico, the food. Avocado toast will cost less as the country produces a whopping 2.44 million metric tons of avocados for export each year. Fresh produce is available in abundance, and you'll gain exposure to a whole host of ingredients you've never seen or tasted. Give your taste buds and your body some time to adjust, as any significant change in diet can be a little challenging to navigate for a few days, weeks, or even months. The food in general costs less as well. Markets and dining establishments are both cheaper, leaving you with more money in your wallet at the end of each month. Your money stretches a lot further. In general, you'll find that the dollar stretches much further in Mexico than in any city in the United States. In addition to inflation, Americans deal with increasingly severe taxes and fees associated with housing costs. Mobile homeowners need to pay space rent, which can easily double the cost of housing. HOA fees, property taxes, and local taxes have become significant line items or monthly bills, making homeownership even more cost prohibitive. But in Mexico, property owners have low tax rates, and the general cost of upkeep is lower. Material prices and labor fees are much lower for house maintenance and construction services, keeping the reoccurring costs of landscaping, pool maintenance, and housing upgrades much more attainable. The minimum daily wage was 175 pesos, or about $9 for the normal worker, at the time this video was made. This all adds up to a superb quality of life for those who choose to make the change in scenery. Spending less on the necessities of food, utilities, housing, and health care leaves more discretionary income at the end of each month. And whether you're a remote worker or on a fixed retirement income, that's good news. It gives you the ability to add more comforts to your home or more fully explore this new country you just moved to. Or save up to move somewhere else in a few years if the nomad bug has bitten you. That does it for today's video. If your job were no object, where would you move to tomorrow? And if it's Mexico, what city has captured your interest? Sound off in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button to let us know if you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more news and travel-related content like this, subscribe to our channel. If you ring the bell and enable all notifications, you'll never miss an upload from us. Who knows? Maybe we'll travel to your dream destination next. Until next time.